If you are planning to take computer science as a major or if you are pursuing your degree in computer science or maybe if you are a computer science graduate then you must have heard some myths or you can say some misconception about computer science like when I was planning to when I was planning to take uh, computer science for my uh, BTEC then I also believe in these kind of myths but these are not facts this is not true so that's exactly I'm going to talk in this video some myths or you can say some misconception about computer science and this video is brought to you by an academy an academy in collaboration with code chef has started a course to learn competitive programming you can take live classes but if you are not able to take live classes it's okay you know no need to worry you can also watch recorded sessions the top educators at an academy are going to teach you Those educators are toppers of ACM ICPC, finalist of ICPC and even they are working in the top MNCs, big giant companies like Amazon, Flipkart, Google and if you like their free classes then you can go for their paid subscription. The detail is over here. If you purchase this then you will get a proper structured course and interactive session, session would also be there with these top educators as well as you can um, see upcoming classes and one more thing they have categorized these classes of competitive programming according to the level of candidate like if you are a beginner in competitive programming then you can go for their classes which are for beginners only if you are intermediate at, at intermediate level you know some basics of competitive programming then you watch those classes those uh, list of classes and if you want to watch advanced classes on competitive programming like you are good in this but you want to uh, watch advanced classes then you can watch that classes those are for advanced uh, candidates as well as a test link is also there you can take that test at any time there is no validity of that test it is conducting a uh, 10 mcqs and 25 minutes would be there it is just to take your programming um, skills your it, it is a kind of a programming aptitude test so if you are interested you can go for it you just have to download an academy app and enroll for these courses all the links for uh, these free classes link for beginners, intermediate and advanced level as well as the test link I'll give you in the description box of this video. You can go and check out. So now let us discuss some myths about computer science. The very first is very common like everybody thinks that it's all about programming. You have to be very good at coding if you take computer science but that is not true. See computer science is beyond that programming. Programming is just a tool or you can say it's just a technical skills and to acquire to learn programming to acquire this skill you don't need to take computer science you don't need to be a computer science graduate even if you are uh, maybe you are uh, having mechanical or civil then also you can learn programming so it is not about programming yeah programming is important in computer science but it's not all about programming. Programming is just a tool computer science scientists use. It's not, you can say, it's not a complete toolbox, right? See, other than programming, computer science covers hardware, data science, data information, computational theory, computational thinking, analytical thinking, logical thinking, and many more. And some areas, they don't even require, they don't necessarily require skills of programming, right? So, please, this is not fact that computer science is all about programming you have to be very good at coding if you go for computer science there are many more areas to explore in computer science it's more about you know uh, problem solving analytical thinking logical thinking computational uh, thinking to solve problems how to design algorithms right yeah there you use programming as a tool right and next is also related to this like after getting job what kind of job you will get if you are a computer science graduate like you have to sit in a cubicle and uh, you just have to code all the day right but it is not true and it's kind of a boring job to sit at one place in a cubicle and just code all the day but no why this is uh, why everyone or most of the students or most of the uh, person believe in this myth because the most common path after computer science is what software development i know you, many of you are also think that after computer science just go for development software development web development mobile app development that is why you think that it's all about programming you have to code all all the day but no there are many other jobs also you can get after computer science degree like business analyst also 
lying between those um, clients and the person who are coding data scientist database administrator information security officer you can go even in networking uh, network architect system administrator system analyst product manager so there are many other jobs also it's not like that you have to code all the day so explore what kind of jobs you can get after a cs degree right next is and also you can go into a research and development field you can be a r and d scientist as well as you are, you are like problem solver means uh, you have to design algorithms you don't need to code uh, that those algorithms you don't need to program you have to design uh, the algorithms and you have to think how to solve a particular type of problem and after that you can give that work to a particular person who is going to code so there are many opportunities after computer science next is you have to be good at maths maths is you can say a prerequisite for computer science yeah maths requires in computer science but it's not that kind of maths like you have read in your high school it's not that complex it's more about uh, you can say analytical thinking logical thinking it's a kind of discrete mathematics yes you require maths while designing algorithm while you are doing analysis of uh, algorithms like to check the correctness and you can say soundness of those algorithms but that is different kind kind of maths and that is very basic yeah if you are into that field machine learning and uh, computer graphics uh, i mean uh, problems in machine learning and uh, computer graphics uh, they require maths at advanced level but that is different kind of math they are going to teach you that math from starting from zero level so yes uh, computer science requires math but it's not like that you have to be very good in that math only that you have studied in your high school like calculus and everything right so to somewhat it is true that yeah maths require computer science requires maths right because maths is what makes it a science right next is many students think that there won't be any job in future for computer science graduates why so because everybody or uh, i am not saying everybody but most of the students are interested in taking computer science that is why like in the top colleges like iit bombay and uh, bits uh, they have so high for computer science right the cut off but that is not true jobs for computer science graduates would be increasing why so because of that automation in every industry in every field that is why in every field in every company there is some part for software right, right? and that requires computer science knowledge and according to bureau of labor statistics the employment of cs and it professionals is projected to grow 11% from the year 2019 to 2029 and which is much faster than average of all the other occupations so don't worry in this field jobs opportunities are growing rapidly right and next is many of you think that computer science is for boys it's for geeks nerds for hackers but it is not true it is for boys for girls for geeks for non geeks for nerds for non nerds for hackers for non hackers everybody the only thing which you need is interest if you have interest you can go for it right it is for everybody see it's very interesting you deal with hardware softwares you know exactly what is going on like if you are playing a game then behind the game what is going on that is what computer science they are going to teach you but yeah that is also true that in our colleges they focus more on theory they in colleges they are not going to teach you like how to develop a mobile app how to develop a game you have to learn it yourself you have to work on projects to learn these kind of things right and i think it is very interesting if suppose you are in a development field like when you make a application or any software or any product any service that people use you are going to make their life easy so you will get you will get that satisfaction so that's it for this video now i'll see you in the next video till then bye bye take care